I was just talking to Sven, and um, he asked me if I focus on one song, if I write one song at a time, focus on one song at a time, or uh, a lot of songs at once. And I thought, I'm, I'm always focusing on one thing at a time. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm focusing on next. It doesn't really... I never know, like, what's going to be next, but I'll focus on one thing for three seconds, and then something for one second, and then something for eight seconds, and then something for 25 minutes, and then something for four hours, one thing, then one thing for eight seconds, one thing for 17 minutes, one thing for three seconds, one thing for seven seconds, one thing for 15 seconds, one thing for 25 seconds, one thing for three minutes, one thing for eight minutes, what I thought, eight minutes, three minutes. So, and then I'll be going, and I'll be doing stuff, and I'll be eating the orange, and I'll look for two seconds, and go for five seconds, and then I'll go to the thing for three and a half minutes, or eight minutes, or twelve minutes. And that's my attention span. That's attention span. We're always focusing on one thing at a time, for a set amount of time. And then the next thing, and the next thing. And we can pay attention to the things so that we don't go back to them. We can spend a lot of time on one thing so that we don't constantly pass over it. Because constantly passing over something is a distraction. Constantly passing over a specific thing is distracting to the thing, and I believe to the individual. That, that flickering of appearance of something, a person or a cup or an orange peel, something, it's a constant stimulation. Sometimes to focus on one thing for a long time is very calming. There's a reason we overstimulate when we look around and around and around because of a distract, distraction from the ability to focus on one thing for a long period of time. Attention. I pulled away from the camera after I said that. It was as if I created a difficulty to pull away from the camera for a long period of time. That's not what I meant. It's like I'm confusing myself. I know what I'm saying, though. Um, that our ability to focus on one thing for a long period of time comes from learning that ability as a young child. So most of our parents, if you're in my generation, I'm 29, so if you're like 10 years in either direction or 12 years in either direction, we're pretty much the same generation. Even a little bit more. Like if you're 15, we're kind of bordering generations, but still like we both know video games and the Internet and stuff. And if you're like 45, 42, your parents were like in Korea, maybe, or Vietnam or something, we're like in the same generation. My dad was went to the Navy during Vietnam, so that'll give you a judgment of... Because age doesn't really matter. Like how we know the world is what matters. And I think people of my generation were raised in a somewhat of a distracting environment. They weren't, I could, I could only really generalize. For me, I wasn't really able to focus on one thing at a time. It took a lot of effort. Class even would be like, teachers were distracted people. They'd have their shit that they brought in from the day, from their lives, from their fucking crazy parents who were in World War II or in that time. Dude, what a fucking gash in what we are. Like jagged, ripped apart. It jagged the human race. I know it doesn't quite make sense, but that's what it did, man. World War II, it fucking ripped our heart out. It, like, ripped it open. It's like, dude, to do that to a, a society, man. No more of that. No more great wars. We learned our lesson from World War II, from watching documentation of it. I did. This is a really good documentary. I highly suggest renting it or buying it. There's with the world at war. There's interview with Hitler's secretary, Greta or something. Oh, God, I don't want to waste your time by looking for it right now. She's talking about, like, I mean, she was, like, his secretary for years, like, 20 years or something, oh, 10 years or a long time. I think longer than 10. Um, she was saying, like, oh, he 
when he walks into the room, no one talked. When he walked into the room, no one talked. And she's, people fell silent. And she sat there, like in the next room or something. And this guy was like, spiraled out of control into isolation as he was gaining influential power with guns. Not the way to go about it, buddy. We learned because it's on video. Like this happened for thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of years. Forceful uh, takeover. And then we started recording ourselves and World War II became like this huge big thing. But it's like just sociological warfare. But I see it now like War is fucked. War is not the way to coalesce. To If you want that piece of land, don't invade it. Culturally influence it. And then you'll realize we're all one land. Constantly going down and being pushed up. That's a pretty good way to be. But we gotta get off the earth because the earth is dragging us down. Literally. Fucking <laughs> figuratively, dude. When you run and trip, the earth will drag you to the ground. So don't do that. Walk calmly and smoothly. Make your way to where you're going. And you will always find a way. Even if it's a simple one-step procedure, you can do it. You can do it calmly. You can make it interesting. People want to watch you work calmly. I was going to say, I'll see you, and then I just turned into a bunch of gibberish. Because I'm so sick of saying, I'll see you, like I got programmed in. I'm seeing you, camera. And at points, I am seeing you. Oh, interesting. I created God, the concept of the other in my mind, which is God. As you, and it, like w women and man's faces and hair. Lots of people. Thomas. Lisa. That's interesting. Like I watch videos and I see you. I wonder if it's like I'm connected to what's coming or if I'm actively deciding what's coming by 
choosing what I grow in my mind by what I watch, what I surround myself with, what I look at. See you, man.